So hello, here we are for Airbags Go Bang Part 6, and you might notice that I've got a slight family resemblance to these two. This is my eldest brother, uh, David. Let's see. Hi, hello everyone. There. <laughs> and my other elder brother, uh, Noel. Yeah, good to see you. Here again. we go. Now, you'd remember in Airbags Go Bang Part 5 that I used this, what I'd describe as sort of bird's nest material, and I didn't get the the experience I wanted. What actually happened was it it... it flew off in one lump um, and, and didn't give me that spectacular um, visual that I was looking for. We went away and we had a think about it and Noel, so Noel, you can maybe show off what you came up with. So yeah. Noel, yeah, you talk it through. So yeah, just the little pellets that are used to pack in around your um, Amazon uh, purchases. Yeah, so um, so we call these like uh, peanuts or um, uh, just, yeah, little knuckles, yeah. peanuts, whatever you like. Yeah. And you can't really see it, but in there, we did try one other thing, which which didn't work for us. Noel and I spent a fair bit of time with a hole punch, um, punching holes in pieces of paper, um, trying trying to get enough material um, to add to that. We spent a lot of time, got a tiny amount of material. And, um, and in the end gave up on it. So Noel on his side um, is going to be using these, um, what, I, what I'd call sort of large format, um, sort of peanut style packing. On the other side of the car, because we're going to blow up both um, curtain airbags at once, I'm going to use the more classic bean bag um, size beans. And just showing you, this line here is how much beans I've got. So I've actually got a fair um, amount of bean, whereas Noel is going with a smaller amount of bean. Sorry to cut your face off there, mm -hmm. mate. Now, the idea here is we're experimenting. So we don't know whether a large amount or a small amount or bigger packing beans or smaller packing beans is gonna work. But what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have a go and we're gonna try and see if we can work out what size, what amount kind of works and we're only going to do the left and the right curtain airbags because the front airbags in the car that I'm about to show you have already detonated. My grand idea in my mind for the grand finale is a car that has all of the airbags undetonated and I set off all of them at once and they all go boom towards the centre of the car with what I know will be a good amount of, of bean. So this, this is really an experiment to work out what that right amount of bean would be. So it's going to be Noel and I um, in the driver and passenger seat um, getting covered in um, beans. And our eldest brother David here is going to be the MC um, that is going to be running the main camera. We're actually going to film this with several cameras today though, but um, Dave will be um, running the main cameras. So we'll now um, take a little cut and we'll go out to the car and we'll talk you through the car. Here we go. All right, so here we are with chassis 19. So this is a BL Mazda 3. This is a sedan, and um, if my brother wants to maybe hop up here, I'll show you what we've done with the rear window. So, just want to come on up there. Yep, so as you can see, we've removed the rear window, and we've done that so that you're going to have a really good view um, when we explode these curtain airbags. So, Noel and I are going to end up in these two seats here, so the next stage is, Noel and I are gonna get those paper bags full of beans and we're gonna mount them onto the B pillar. Now remember, with cars, A pillar, B pillar, C pillar. So we're gonna put those beans on the B pillar. So that's what Noel and I are gonna go and do now. See you soon. All right, Nolly. so we're in the car now and I can't help but notice that team Noel, Noel David, so Dave, if you wanna get, get in there yep, close yep. too and I'll get, right back here so there we got Noli and david have gone with a very very different design to me so i'll back out here maybe you want to talk us through talk so, us through your design so what we've done is i started off i wanted to cut the bag off to allow the beans to come out so we had quite a, a short little top on it and um so then we thought the beans are going to come out through the opening of the bag but then how to attach it to the car We've cable tied onto the seat belt. 
yeah. and then just made a series of holes. So, so just to be clear to everyone watching, that seat belt was deployed. Um, yeah, you might yeah. notice that the front airbag has gone off there. So this seat belt is actually in what we call the pre-tensioned um, state, which means it's it's stuck. Yeah. So it will not come out any further. So Noel actually has a, a solid fixing point um, there. And um, this is uh, Team Noel and David. Now, if you hold the camera round for me, or it might have to be, can you get me in there? Yeah. So this is the design that I've gone with. So I've um, taped to the B pillar, and then I've done uh, cable ties up into the uh, roof lining and I've reinforced the top of the bag with more um, with more um, cloth tape. And I don't know if you can see them there, but I have actually run the scalpel um, in and put several um, perforations through the bag, as Noel has as well. So very, very different strategies between uh, Team Paul and Team Noel David. We are now at the stage where we're going to go and get some um, hearing and um, eye protection and uh, we're going to set up multiple cameras and we're going to make some airbags go bang. So stick around. Okay, so here we are. We're in the car. Just to remind you, I've got the fine beanbag beans on my side. Noel has the, uh, the thicker peanuts on his side. We've got the detonation harness here. You can see at the moment I have the detonation harness in the off position. I'm now going to plug in to the uh, detonation wires. Okay, we are now in. So this is now live. When I click this to on, both those airbags are going to go off. So Noel, you're good. Yep. Okay, I'm putting my earmuffs on. And here we go, we'll find out small bean bags or bean, big bean bags. Here we go. You ready? Yep. <laughs> yes, success. Oh, fail. All right, looks like one team got it right and one team got it wrong. So, my side. I wouldn't blame the team, I reckon it's the electronics. Oh, hang on! Oh no! Oh no! Alright. So, this is now live. When I click this to on, both those airbags are going to go off. So, Noel, you're good? Yep. Okay, I'm putting my earmuffs on. And here we go, we'll find out small bean bags or bean, big bean bags. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> yes, success. Oh, fail. All right. Looks like one team got it right and one team got it wrong. So, my side. I wouldn't blame the team. I reckon it's the electronics. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. All right. All right. So, what I'm going to do, because I'm unsure of what's going on with the wiring harness, I'm going to go directly to the wiring harness because I'm very certain that those are the right wires and I've got the 9 volts right here. So this absolutely is going to work because I'm going to punch the, the power right to the detonator. So um, this will work. So, pretty good. Yeah, a lot of it stayed in the bag though. Oh. Yeah. yeah, oh, it's all the way across here. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. The curtain, curtain airbags are huge. Anyway, there you go. So we've we've had a go. We had a very, very variable experience this time. But I hope you enjoyed Airbags Go Bang Part 6. I look forward to Part 7. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Hi there. I was just editing that um, Airbags Go Bang 6 video together, and I've got to the end of it, and I've realised that there's an epilogue that I want to I capture. And that is, um, it's to do with perceptions of failure and, and how you process them. Um, during my time as a project manager, I, I found that I sometimes had people on my team that would have something happen like what happened on, uh, on Airbags Go Bang Part 6 where one airbag went off and another didn't. And they would process it as, as failure and, um, and they, would, they would associate a lot of negative emotion around that. And I never did. I always thought that um, situations like that were simply a pathway to success and it's just that 
the, the pathway went a bit different to um, to how you expected. So I just thought I'd um, just reflect that if you are one of these people that um, finds yourself uh, pushing yourself down when you have something that doesn't quite go to plan, that um, it can be quite helpful to reframe that and um, and simply process it as it didn't go how I expected, but it is on a pathway to success. Uh, and and certainly, if you look at what happened with with that those airbags there, it didn't go to plan. We did eventually detonate them all, and I promise you that when I do version seven, um, I will. I will do a test harness where I can test things. So in other words, the failure is going to actually lead to a better outcome, in which case I'd have to define it as not being a failure. So I just thought I'd put that out there just to um, hopefully uh, hopefully get, get some of you to reframe your thoughts and, um, and, and think, of, think of life and life in general in a better way. So there you go. So um, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you on Airbags Go Bang Part 7. See you later.